Hi guys, welcome to the first word presented by Dr. Pepper and member Garcia joined by Nick Inman and Rob Phillips. The Dallas Cowboys lose their winning streak at home against the Tennessee Titans 28-14. Now they lost the magic, even though they made some changes prior to this game. Nate, can you talk to me about some of the things that you were able to see from the offense? Well, I mean, it was their worst performance of the season overall. I mean, this is the worst game that they played. Uh, like you said, they, they made a lot of changes to the offense. They added in what they call the number one receiver, Amari Cooper. He, he made some nice plays, but that didn't help the, the passing game. The offensive line with some changes that didn't really help either. And so, you know, they got beat by an average team. They came in here and really kind of dominated them. So they had some opportunities and they just kind of squandered them away early. And, you know, it was, like I said, it was just the worst game that they played. And that's not a good time to do it. And something that you might also say about the defense who started off really fired up, making some really big plays, but eventually started wearing off. What were some of the things that you noticed there that affected them? Well, I'm just surprised overall with the way the defense played. I mean, this is, a, like Nick said, this is a Tennessee team. Really has struggled moving the ball, sustaining drives, scoring points. And Cowboys defense started off fine. The one thing that's been missing for them is takeaways. They got two early in the game. Offense wasn't really able to cash in. And I think, Amber, the thing that really stood out defensively for Dallas was third down, they couldn't get off the field. Every time Tennessee needed to make a big play, they made it. 10 of 13, I think, on third down overall. Mariota played great. Deion Lewis did some nice things for them, running and catching. You know, they just couldn't get anything going consistently as a defense, although Demarcus Lawrence helped out with some pressure at times. Now you fire your old line coach. You made a trade with the first round pick. People are still pointing the same fingers to Dak Prescott, yeah. to the offensive coordinator, to Jason Garrett. Yeah. Again, how do you justify or how do you explain some of the things that happened tonight into maybe look at a bright side of who knows what could happen next. But as of right now, did you notice anything that would keep you motivated for what's coming up next? No. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I didn't think you were going to ask that. Uh, not, not really. I mean, they didn't. I mean, Dak Prescott is the best quarterback on the team. So that's, I think, I think so. That's the that's the problem there is because he's not playing well. I think the, you talk about the magic from being at home is gone. His magic is gone uh, from what happened in the 2016. They figured him out. Um, you know, he, he's a running quarterback. They don't run him. They got Cooper in to throw it deep. They didn't throw it deep. So I don't know what Linehan really was doing. I, I thought the call down on first and goal in the four and to run like a counter trap that took four days to get there. I thought that was really bad, and that, that led to the interception. So uh, I don't know what they're doing. They, they have to figure it out. I don't know if they will, but, you know, this defending champ's coming. That's it. Rob, now I'm going to ask you a very simple yet very open-ended question. Yes. What is next for these Dallas Cowboys? Well, Nick said defending champs on the road. Two straight road games, and they haven't won a road game yet this season. They have to change that in a hurry. And then Thanksgiving, you got an opportunity against the current division leaders. I know it's one day at a time, one game at a time, but this is a tough stretch. After that, arguably the best team in the NFC, the Saints. If they're going to salvage the season, they're going to have to do it on the road and against some really good teams and play a lot better than they played tonight. All right, well, there you have it, guys. Not much more to say as of right now. We'll listen to what Jason Garrett and these guys have to say after later on tonight. Nick, please talk to Jason Garrett. Okay. Tell him to figure it out when you go in there in the press conference. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right, guys, for Nick Gaiman, Rob Phillips, and Member Garcia, see you guys next time on The First Word, presented by Dr. Pepper.